It's here, it's here! Part 2 of the much anticipated Halloween event in Tower Defense Simulator has finally arrived and it brings with it more crates, more skins, a new map, so many fixes, and yet still no event tower. That's right, the event tower is not here yet, but I'm going to talk about that later. Right now we're going to start with some good news, but first go ahead and destroy that like button with your nose. One like equals one prayer that the event tower will release this year. So here's the good stuff, along with releasing Part 2 of the Halloween event, the developers were also gracious enough to release a brand spanking new code for one free spooky crate. This code will be available until November 24th at 6 p.m. Eastern. So go ahead and grab that if you're watching this video before that time has passed. If you're watching this video from the future and the code is no longer valid, don't worry, I got your back. I have a solution for you. It's really simple. Just build a time machine, set the destination to November 23rd, 2020. 20. Make sure you bring a mask, by the way. And then get that puppy up to 88 miles an hour, and bam! You got yourself a free spooky crate. Now you might be thinking, Harrison, just tell me the dang code. Alright, that code is too spooky for you. Go to where you see the Twitter icon in the TDS lobby, type in that code exactly how I have it on the screen, hit the redeem button, and you will be good to go. Be sure to let me know down in the comments below which skin you get out of that crate. There's a ton of new ones being added to the game. In fact, I think that now there are more more skins for this event than any other event in the history of TDS. There's a combined 16 skins that you can get out of the pumpkin and spooky crates. So now let's go ahead and go over the dev log from the TDS devs for this update. There's a lot of good news in here for you guys. First off, the battle pass has been expanded from 11 ranks to 13. Rank number 12 will give you three spooky crates and rank 13 is going to give you four, which means you get a whopping seven spooky crates from these last two ranks. I don't remember how much candy each one costs, but rank Rank 12 can be purchased for 260 Robux, and rank 13 is going to cost you 320 Rooks. And yeah, I bought both of them. Deal with it. Now, you might have noticed that this is quite a bit more Bobux than the earlier levels. The devs do note here that they raised the Robux prices of the ranks because people were complaining. Who complains that something is too cheap? You guys are just never happy with anything. Next up, we have the list of skins. Now available in the crates are the Spooky Shotgunner, Spooky Archer, and Spooky Crook Boss, as well as the Demon Gladiator. And of course, the much sought after ghost skins, the ghost DJ, ghost electro shocker, and ghost militant. Now, I want to let you know that I've already opened all these crates and I got a skin that isn't on this list. It's the demon crook boss, which looks very much like the demon crook boss from the Halloween 2019 event, at least at its basic level. I won't know for sure how it looks at max level until I do the skin showcase, which I'm going to do soon. Now we have a long list of bug fixes. And this first one is huge. huge. This is something I've heard a lot of you complain about. Now you should be able to claim the towers you get for leveling in the game. So what I want you to do is go and check right after this video and see if you can get that mortar, turret, or pursuit that you've been unable to claim. The devs also fixed the slasher knife throw damage, the ace pilot and pursuit range not appearing properly, unit range circles not appearing, hidden detection not appearing in the upgrade description, the archer arrow not appearing where it hits, they fixed leaving the elevators creating a constant teleport loop, the scaling placement prices, and of course... They increased the hardcore price scale due to increased farm limit and people complaining about it being too easy. I mean, come on, guys. I don't know who was saying that it was too easy, but it definitely wasn't easy when we beat it. It took us like eight hours of trying. Anyway, I'm gonna have to jump back into that and see how it affects the gameplay because I did have some hardcore footage recorded that I'm gonna have to remake now so I can get you guys a strat for beating that mode and getting that sick hardcore badge. The next piece of news is from the Paradoxum Games Twitter account. It says sprinting will come back later this this week along with our new match rejoining feature and maybe a new matchmaking system to replace the elevators. Now I know the rejoin feature is something we've all been waiting for for quite a while and I'm very excited to see how that works out for you guys but this new matchmaking system is something I'm not as familiar with. I know they've teased at least a couple of different times a new way to load into games without having to deal with low levels chasing you or actually being able to party up with a group and getting into an elevator with them which can be quite difficult when you're a big Y tier constantly getting mobbed by your fans. So it'll be interesting to see exactly how that's going to work. And they say they're getting rid of the elevators, which I support because the elevator just really isn't that special to me. Maybe instead we can all get into a rocket ship and blast off into the map of our choice and just crash right on the surface and explode and die and lose the game right there because the Fallen King just walks up and is like, what the heck happened here? <gasps> now here's the news you've all been waiting for. Let's talk about the event tower. Here's what Raz had to say about it in 
the Discord. It should be out later this week. They're planning to launch a very big update that'll change the lobby and the way we match with players, which is what we were just talking about. The update that may possibly come out this week will solve the issue with players lagging in the lobby. The new lobby is more optimized for slower devices, and by slower, of course they mean mobile. We'll be releasing a trailer showing off this new matchmaking party system soon. So let me just emphasize the key words here, should and may possibly. When the TDS devs say these things, it almost always means they're close to being ready to release, but some last minute bugs or glitches will delay the release of the update by another week or two. So make sure you adjust your expectations accordingly. I do want to point out that the info in game for part two of the Halloween event does specify that the skin will release in the next couple of weeks. So it'll be awesome if we see the updates this week, but if it takes another couple of weeks for those to release, that just means we get more time to defeat Lord Sinister and grind those candies to be sure we get all the new skins. And the last thing I want to cover about part two of this event is that last year's Halloween event map has made a return. If you're like me and didn't get a chance to play Nightmare Carnival, you can now find it in the regular elevator rotation. Biscuit updated it. Now it's a two lane map, so it's a little tougher than it was before, but of course you know your boy Harry has already beaten it. That video will be coming soon. Be sure to check that map out yourself. It's really nice looking with all the lights and carnival stuff. Oh, and one more thing before I go, there are some changes to the trick or threat map for the actual Halloween event. The bats that show up on wave 16 have been changed to hidden, so you need something that can attack hiddens in the air. Rangers won't work for this since they don't have hidden detection. We did manage to beat them using max level ace pilots and swarmers. If you don't have swarmers i think a few max level ace pilots should do fine max level pursuits might work as well unless they get stuck targeting something else but that's all the info i have for you guys on this update i do have a few more videos about this content coming out soon one is going to be of us beating nightmare carnival on fallen another is a part two crate opening video and of course another skin showcase for all of those so be sure you smash that subscribe button with your big toes so you don't miss any of my amazing upcoming content if you've been struggling to beat the halloween event be sure to join my discord server and talk to one of my event coordinators. Those are the elite members of my community that have volunteered to carry all you noobs to that epic victory royale. You can join at discord.gg slash justharrisonthings. Also be sure to smash that like button with your forehead if you enjoyed the video and go ahead and turn on notifications however you can. I will see you guys next time. Take care, be safe, and never forget what I always say. Peace.